Hey, how's it going? Today what we're going to do is we're going to be making some water teas so that you can put a Volvo Turbo on your Chevy Ecotec. All right, a, a lot of guys use the, uh, the Volvo hoses, but they, they're, the hose is just integral with the tea. It's a plastic tea. It kind of looks like crap, and when it breaks, you've got to replace the hose. It's not the best thing in the world. What we're going to do is we're going to take um, this do-it-yourself uh, water neck uh, kit here, and uh, we're going to machine uh, a pair of uh, billet aluminum uh, tees, put in a nice little brass barb, and uh, have it something look real nice under the hood of your car. Okay? So we're going to get started on the lathe. Okay, now that our uh, part is rough cut to size, we'll take our drawing. Always have drawings of everything we do. We'll stick this into the lathe. We'll just take a quick cleanup cut off of here, flip it around, face it off, make sure it's the right length, and move on from there. We'll turn on our phase converter. This OD is going to be turned down quite a bit, but just for now, while we're handling it, I'm just going to touch this outside edge with a file. And notice I have the uh, the tang of the of the file out here, so if something catches, they'll shoot it out of my hand and not into my hand. Now the other thing, the other thing is the ID is remaining as it is. We're not opening that up anymore. And since this is a uh, a water outlet, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit this and put a real nice big radius on the inside here. And let's do that by hand. Now we'll turn around, but you can you can see now that that's a real nice big radius, so it's going to help him help water flow. And we got a fair amount we can take off yet, which is good because the end is a little rough. right on the money.
touch the back side of this so that it's not sharp for pulling off the uh, hose. We'll get rid of the sharp edges here, just kind of round them over a little bit just so it's easier to get the hose on and off. There we go, we got one side done. It only took us about uh, 40 minutes. Now we'll just flip her around and do the other side, and then stick it in the bridge port, drill and tap the hole, and uh, we have half of the set done. Okay, here we have the part ready to be drilled and tapped in the bridge port. Uh, what I am going to do before I do that though is I am going to put this on the buffing wheel. I just want to make sure that any sharp edges are really, really rounded off and nice and smooth so you don't have to worry about uh, the hose dragging or, you know, nicking a finger or something on it. So we're going to put it on the buffing wheel and then into the, uh, into the bridge port. center on the bridge port. right to center on our digital readout and lock that down. Now we'll change our tooling and drill our hole. Now we tap it and it's almost done. Okay, we'll give this a little oil. Just like to get it started with the bridge port, and then I'll do it by hand. Okay, and here we are with the near finished product. All we have to do is screw the uh, barb into this, uh, clean it all up, and it only took what um, about an hour, and 15 or 20 minutes. Now all we have to do is make the three-quarter inch uh, T the same way, 
and we'll have us have our pair done. Uh, not too bad now for 75 bucks. Well, we is it? a little Loctite 565 sealer. Put that on our uh, on our barb. Crank this in. Now we just have to wash it one last time and it's all set and ready. Now that we've got that one complete, the next one is for our heater hose. And that we have to use bar stocks. We'll have to bore it out, but I can promise you on the video at least, this one's going to be a lot faster. Okay, and now here you have the two finished tees. I told you the second one would be a lot faster, at least on the video. Uh, actual time in making the pair of these was about three hours. Bye-bye.